Sometimes, more often than not, when working with AutoCAD, you will come across a host drawing where the reference file cannot be located or read. So if you look at the screen at the moment, you can see that our host drawing.dwg file is open. You can see the name of it at the top of the screen, but the reference file has not been found. Now that is our external references.dwg file. And what I've done for this particular video is I've deliberately moved the reference file to a different location. What I've done is I've put it on my Windows desktop. AutoCAD 2018 is looking for that external references file using a relative file path. So that external references.dwg file should be in the same folder as the host drawing.dwg file. But in this case, it isn't. So what happens is AutoCAD goes, ah, I can't find the reference file. So it brings up this little dialog box on the screen. So you have a number of bits of information here that are very useful. One of them is obviously telling you that you cannot find the reference file. It tells you the number of reference files that cannot be found, which is one, and that's our external references.dwg file. So we have two solutions. I can open the external references palette and locate the file, or I can just ignore it. Now, sometimes when you get drawings in from third parties, there's a lot of reference files that they're using. You don't actually need them, so they don't send them to you. They just send the host drawing. So you might get unresolved reference files that way that you can actually ignore. In this case, though, we do need to open the external references palette. So I'll click on that one there. Now, remember, you've always got the tick box, always ignore unresolved references. To me, in my CAD manager, hat, roll, head, whatever you want to call it, that's a little bit dangerous. You should never, ever ignore an unresolved reference, even if it is, like I mentioned previously, a third party unresolved reference. Always check in case it's important. So I'm going to open the external references palette. There we go. And I'm just going to expand this field here a little bit. There's my external references file there. We've got the little exclamation mark there now, and it's saying not found. And the save path there, as you can see, is the dot and the slash external references.dwg, which is a relative path. So how do I find that? I can either select a new path or I can find and replace it. So what I can do here now is I can actually just right click and one of the new features in AutoCAD 2018 is I can change the path type to make it absolute or I can remove the path or I can select a new path or I can find and replace the reference file that I need. So all of these tools are very useful. So if I change the path type and make it absolute, what will happen now is I can go and find that particular file. So I can right click there and I can now select a new path like so. And if I go to, say, the desktop now, you'll see that there's my external references file there. So I'll select it, click on open, and it loads up the reference file for me. So what I've got there is a tool that allows me to locate my missing reference files if that dialog box pops up when I open up a host drawing that has reference files in it.